Hey guys, welcome back to Gunshots. This week I've got a Beretta 692 Black Edition, a gun I've been waiting to review for an absolute age. And it seems like we never get any in second hand. Um, they either come in um, and very, very quickly go out again, or we just don't get any. So it's quite difficult um, for me to lay hands on one. I have finally managed to grab hold of one and to give it a run out. The 692 Black is essentially a 692, but with some differences in terms of the specification, which I'll run through now. Okay, so we've got 32 inch barrels on this gun, um, 18.6 board, um, extended optima chokes, carbon rib, the carbon rib is a big difference, this is pinned to the barrel, um, not glued, um, and gives a lovely flat, um, non-reflective, non-heat conducting surface um, for you to look down. Red front bead, uh, ventilated mid bead, sorry mid rib, um, we've got a rounded sort of sporting beaver tail forend, which I much prefer to a schnabel. Underneath here, there's another difference, we've got these um, mounting points here for the weighting system. Um, the weights are magnetic and just clip on, you've got 5 and 10 gram, and allows you to change the balance of the gun alongside the, the weights that you can get to go in the stock. Um, same ejectors as you get on the 692, switchable. Coming back to the action, it's matte black with a little bit of uh, shiny black detailing which looks really well, especially with this little gold inlay. Um, I think it looks very pretty and I think that's one of the main sort of selling points of this gun over the standard 692. Certainly on the black edition guns they have a, a really nice look to them, all matte black, um, nicely sort of matte and shiny sort of uh, details that really make the gun stand out in my opinion. Adjustable trigger blade, uh, nice and comfortable. Um, same trigger system as you get on our 690 series guns. Um, combination uh, safety and barrel selection on the top and this sort of rubber coated uh, top leader. The stock is uh, obviously laser engraved, very, very neat. Um, little bit of a palm swell, um, nice and comfortable. And the stock dimensions are pretty sort of standard, uh, 35, 55. Um, it is what it is, It's um, it comes to shoulder well and obviously, for a gun at seven and a half pounds out of the box without any of the weights in, uh, it's very nimble. In my opinion, a little bit too light for a sporter, for someone my size. Um, I do find myself getting in front of stuff with it at times. I have to really sort of slow myself down with this gun. But for somebody that really wants to boss a gun about, um, that maybe can't move a lot of weight around and wants a gun that they can really sort of push around, especially a skeet shooter, perhaps ideal. The question I've got about it though, um, by the way, it shoots absolutely fine, aside from my having to sort of slow myself down, is would I buy this new versus a 694? Um, the answer is no. Um, I would definitely have a 694 over this. I think the improvements that they've made in the 694 are, are, are worth having. Um, and I think, um, I don't know, but I think Beretta will launch a black version of the uh, 694. How soon, I don't know, but um, it to me seems like a no-brainer. These guns do seem to have a bit of a cult following, and I think Beretta will um, bow to that pressure and release a, a 694 black. Um, second hand, though, could be potentially a nice buy for somebody that wants a light gun um, and that degree of adjustability. Personally, though, um, this gun balance is absolutely spot on out of the box and I'm not sure I'd want to put any extra weights in it other than to make it heavier. At which point, just buy a heavier gun, right? I don't know. I guess, as I said, <laughs> the market has spoken, people like these. Um, I'm just not sure what they're for. So guys, as ever, the channel is um, supported by Bible Shooting Ground and Hull Cartridge, the confidence to win. Um, please do drop me a like, subscribe. Um, leave a comment below if you uh, if you want to. Um, follow me on Instagram, at P, where I'll often have photographs of guns that are coming up on the channel and various other bits and bobs. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.